Hello everyone and this is the final lesson in the ice cream series. So we're going to do the full lighting and shading and rendering in this version. But before we do that, I'm, I want to make like a small ground for this. So I wanted to just add like a cloth on the floor. So what I have is I made a grid, which is about 15 by 11. And I gave it a remesh and a UVW project. And then uh, let's just rotate this. Hold on, let's just keep it square. So we'll keep it like 10 by 10. Okay, so this is fine. And uh, what I also did was rather than using uh, the actual sort of waffle for collision, I made like a small tube that is roughly the same size. Okay, and I have a small box for the base. Okay, so uh, we'll just do this fairly simply. So there's just, we'll take a vellum configure cloth and I'm going to plug this into collision. So we just have this and then take a vellum brush. So it'll take a few seconds to activate uh, if it has to turn on like the open CL kernels and everything and then just plug everything in here. So what I want to do first of all is I just want to pin all the points that are inside the waffle. So just keep shift pressed, keep the middle mouse button pressed and just sort of draw. So it'll just, so all of these points get pinned. Okay. So these won't move. And then uh, the rest is fairly simple. Just uh, change the brush mode to drag and you know, we'll just make a slightly large brush and I can just move this around. Okay. So nothing too fancy or anything, just a little bit of, you know, a, a few wrinkles here and there so that it just looks a little interesting. Yeah, I think that's good enough. And then uh, we'll just give it a post process. So vellum post process and you know, just plug these in and we can give it like a loop subdivision. Yeah, there you go. So this is fine. Okay, and uh, now we can just, you know, merge everything together. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, when you make stuff using BDB, it already generates like a name attribute. Okay, so this, both of these should have like a name attribute on them somewhere. Like this one. Yeah, there you go. So what we'll do is we'll delete those and we'll make our own. Okay, so just take an attribute delete and I'll just delete the name attribute here and here. And then uh, we can just take a name uh, node and just give it a name. Okay, so we can just, I'll call this waffle and make sure it's at primitive level. And then this will be ice cream. Uh, this will be sprinkles. And this will be cloth. Yeah, so if I come in here, so we should have like a name attribute. Okay. And then let's also do one thing. Let's get rid of a lot of these things. So I want to keep the color and the concavity and convexity and the rest of these, I think I can get rid of. And then also all of these over here. So just take an attribute delete. And what we can do is turn on delete non-selected and then just take the ones that you want and keep those. Okay. So concavity and convexity and yeah nothing else and then we want to keep the name and nothing from here and we want to keep the uv for the ground so yeah that's better generally if you have like unnecessary attributes that you're not using just get rid of them because uh, if you have too many objects with too many unnecessary attributes things start to slow down okay so this is done now let's set it up in lops okay so i'll just come out here I'll take a LOP network and let's just change the build to Solaris. Yeah. And I'll jump in. We'll make a, we'll do a SOP import. Now, one of the things you can do is rather than picking up a folder over here, we can set up a node here and pick that. So we'll just call it out and we'll pick that one. Okay. So just come in here and pick out. Now, if you've done everything right, uh, let's just change this name to, we'll call it ice cream. 
yeah so that because what's happening is like down here in the usd it says uh dollar os so whatever name you give here is what it will pick up over there okay so if you open this up you know everything else is fine like you have sprinkles you have eye cloth and ice cream but the sprinkles are being picked up as you know like native instances so what you want to do is just come down here and change this to a primitive definition come to packed primitives and change the packed primitives to create point instances so that makes it you know look like this so so this is simpler you know like lesser objects for it to deal with <coughs> and lesser stuff for us to deal with okay okay i'll have to figure out what point 0 is supposed to be but let it be for now okay so this is good uh, let's just hit a render and see what we're getting i'll just change this to karma for a second see what we're getting okay so the next step is uh, we'll just add some lighting and we'll assign assign some materials then we'll start adjusting so for the lighting what i did was i took like two dome lights just i took two hdrs and just sort of angled them so it looks right so i'll pick up a dome light and i'll also pick up karma for now i don't want a camera so i'll just set this to manual and we will set this to xpu and plug that in and let's hit render yeah so that's what we get yeah i think it's still compiling okay so uh i'm going to pick up i have two of these i picked them up from polyhaven or something or like hdri haven okay and uh i'll change the color temperature make it slightly warm because it's kind of bluish okay and just sort of increase the exposure and rotate it around okay and then i'll pick up a second dome light and i'm going to pick up that's not bad actually but i'll just pick up something else but this one i'll just lower the intensity to about 0.3 yeah and just kind of spin it around Yeah, I think this is okay. okay. So it's not very complex. Like as far as lighting is concerned, this isn't very complicated. Uh, the one thing I'll also do is just for fun, I'm going to come into Karma and come to Limits, and we'll get the SSS to one. Like it won't affect right now, but once we start doing the material work, it will start affecting. Okay, so uh, this is good. Let's just start assigning materials. So I'm I'm going to turn this off. and take a material library and we need four materials right so we need one for the waffle ice cream sprinkles and cloth so let's just take a material yeah so we'll take a usd material subnet and let's just jump in here i'll create a standard material and get rid of this and plug that in and let's just call these so this will be ice cream and we want cloth and waffle and sprinkles okay and then just come up here we'll take assign material and we'll just assign everything so we need like four of these so starting with cloth and then ice cream and waffle and here we pick up like the mesh from here and drop it in this okay and then we do you know so cloth ice cream sprinkles waffle and let's hit render and see what we're getting yeah so give it a few seconds because whenever you assign materials it takes a few seconds to compile okay so we are back in business okay so let's start with the simplest uh, let's do the cloth first and then we'll do the sprinkles okay so uh, with the cloth what i did was i built up a uh, i made a material in like uh, it used to be called substance alchemist i think now it's called substance sampler okay So I use that a fair bit. Uh, it just I kind of find it easier. So what I'll do is I'll increase the specular roughness. I'll give it a little bit of diffuse roughness. 
and I'll just bring in the material. So I, I have, I'll just take an image node and I'm going to pick it up. I have it somewhere. Yeah, so I have base color and let's just plug this into base color. Okay, and uh, I can just take a color correct. Well, maybe I want it slightly faded out. So I can take the gamma and we'll just increase the gamma. Yeah, and maybe we also want to like tile this up a little bit. So yeah, so let's just take texture coordinates and I'll pick up like a multiply. And let's make it two by two. Yeah, I think this is fine. Let's make it 1.5 by 1.5. And then I'll just pick up uh, pick up another one for the normals. Okay, so I'll just take this and I'll pick up the normal map and type in normal. And plug that in there. And make sure you change this to vector 3 like the signature yeah, and then we can just lower this to around 0 0.5 okay there you go okay so we have our you know our cloth here which is looking fine i mean from from a distance it's okay okay so now let's start doing the other stuff which is i'm going to make a material for the sprinkles so for the sprinkles we just need it to shine and it's supposed to pick up the color that we have on it okay all right, so I just realized that instance colors are not supported for point instancing. Okay, so it's supported at CPU level in Karma, but not at XPU. I thought it was, so I'm a little confused about that. Anyway, so we can solve it, it's pretty simple. Okay, like if, you, if I take a geometry color node, and if I set this to color, and I assign it, then nothing happens okay but if i change the node change karma to uh, cpu then it works okay so uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to make a small change so i'll switch this back to xpu and i will turn this off temporarily because i was testing it i just turned off the other materials let me just turn those on again Okay, so what we'll do is we're going to come up here to the ice cream and set it to native instances. And in the native instances, we'll just assign like, now you'll get a lot of them, right? Like there are 1,800 of them. Okay, so I'm just going to take this and drop one of the sprinkles in here and then replace the zero with a star. Okay, and that's it. So that picks up everything. And now if I take this back to Karma XPU, it should work there you go okay. so now it works so yeah so i thought it was working i thought packed instances were supported like color through packed instances were supported but apparently not anyway so continuing okay uh now we just need to make the waffle and the ice cream okay so with the waffle what i'll do is i will try to pick up uh pick up the connect the concavity node okay so just type in type in property and you'll get something called geometry property value. And we have a concavity node in there. Okay, or a concavity attribute. So I'm just gonna take that and let's uh, take a ramp. So we'll take a gradient ramp color. And just to see if everything is okay, I'm gonna plug that into the base color. Yeah, there you go. So this is fine. We can also try to pick up convexity. See how that looks. I think I like convexity more. Okay, let's keep it to convexity. And what we want to do is pretty simple. Like let's keep this to like a lightish, you know, beige like that. And this one goes to like, let's just take the same. We'll put a point here. Yeah, let's just pause this for a second because it's taking time. Okay. And let's just make it slightly darker. And maybe push it a little towards orange. Yeah, I think this should be okay. Okay, and then uh, 
this shouldn't be in base color. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll disconnect this. Let's get the base to zero. And we'll also increase the specular roughness, which shouldn't be this shiny. And increase the subsurface. Get the subsurface to one. And then give it a few seconds because whenever you turn on subsurface, it slows down like for the initial bit. Okay, and then take the color and plug that into subsurface color. Okay, and then all we need to do is take the subsurface radius like really low. And also get the subsurface scale to about 0 0.015. Yeah, and there you go. So you get like a nice little waffle color. You can probably adjust it based on how, you know, bright or dark you want it. But yeah, there you go. That's as far as, you know, the waffle is concerned. Okay, so now the last thing remaining is the ice cream. Okay, so let's just jump into the ice cream. And the first thing is we'd have to give it like subsurface. So just, you know, make base color zero. Uh, since it's ice cream, we're going to keep the specular like a little more shiny. So the specular roughness will just lower it and then take the subsurface to one. Now uh, take the subsurface radius really low and the subsurface scale to 0 0.08. Yeah. And we'll also get the subsurface radius to be slightly bluish. Let's just see what that gives us. Uh, let's do one thing. Let's take the dome light and make it slightly darker. Let's make it 0 0.4. Yeah, I think that's better. Okay, and now we can give it some color. So what I can do is, uh, we'll come into ice cream, like we'll just try to give it some basic color for now. So let's try like pink or something, you know, like strawberry or not pink. Is there blue ice cream? I don't know if there's blue ice cream or not. Uh, let's do one thing. Let's come into the sprinkles and we'll just change it a bit. So let's take a color correction node with the sprinkles. And even the sprinkles, I want it slightly more shiny. So I'm going to get the specular really low and get the roughness higher. So get the index of refraction higher. And uh, because I don't want to keep killing this, let's do a region render. So I'll just sort of plug it in over here. Yeah, okay. So let's just plug this through a color correction. And we can try to adjust the hue. So it's slightly different from the background maybe make it slightly darker. So just lower the gamma. Okay, I think let's try to go lower still. Okay, I think that's not bad. Yeah, okay, okay, this is fine. Okay, and then what I want to do with the ice cream is we want to put like a noise map in it. I'll just do a clear render region. Yeah, okay. And I'll just take a noise 3D. Uh, let's do, I think what, okay, and then I'll just take a, I'll take a noise control, which I had made like a while back. If you've seen my Material X tutorials, like I made this node in that, which is nothing. It's just like you take a position, then you take an add, a multiply and a rotate. And all these things combined give you like noise control. So we'll just take this, I'll plug it into position. And that goes into a... Let's take a ramp. So we'll take a gradient ramp. Yeah, so we'll take a color cubic. I'll set this to, let's try like a yellow and a pink. And let's plug that into subsurface color. And let's see what we're getting. Hmm, that's not bad. Okay, so what we can do is let's just take this and we'll just squeeze it in. That actually looks pretty decent. Okay, so let's do one thing. Let's take the frequency in the X and we'll make it like four. So you'll get like, you know, straight lines like that. And I can just offset it. So we get a little more. Let's try to increase it to 20. Yeah, increase the amplitude and adjust the pivot. There we go. Okay. Yeah, adjust the pivot. Yeah. And maybe 
you know have it blend a little more okay yeah that looks nice okay now one thing we can do with this is let's say if you want to distort this a little I'm going to take like all of this and duplicate it and we will add it into this okay so change this to a uh, vector 3 uh, keep the frequency to 1 uh, let's take a multiply here or actually we don't we, we can just adjust the the, the amplitude okay uh, and let's take an add and we're going to add it to the position so what this will do is it will distort the noise yeah yeah so just make it 5 in the amplitude there you go so you get like, you know, nice little weirder noise pattern on the whole thing. Yeah, and let's do one final thing. Uh, let's take a normal map. Or no, actually take a, take a height to normal. We'll try to add like a bump map to this. Okay, so I'll just pick up another. Yeah, I'll just duplicate this. This will be, this will go back to being a float. Except what I want is, uh, Let's get the frequency to about 50 in each and plug that into height to normal because this is pretty smooth, right? Like I just want a little more rough and plug that into the normal map and that goes out here. Let's see what we get. Yeah, that's better. Uh, let's just make this a hundred like really fine and you get the scale down to like 0 0.1 so we'll get a little bit of break on the whole thing uh, maybe lower still 0 0.01 yeah that's a little better you know uh, should we go higher let's try to go to 200 yeah like really fine grain and also like let's lower the scale over here Yeah, I think this is good. Yeah, see, so you're getting like a little bit of a noise pattern over there, which breaks up the whole thing. I had turned off the the material for the sprinkles because it was slowing it down. Like, because it was, cal it has to, cal every time I would add a node, it would have to recalculate the whole thing. Okay, so I just turned it off temporarily, but I'll turn it on now. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, this is how we make, you know, an ice cream and sprinkles and whatever. Okay. And now if you want, like as a final thing, we can add a, add a camera to this. So I'll just add like a new camera and make sure you it's before the, the karma node. So it can pick up like the height or whatever. And let's change this to like a four by three. So it's a little bit vertical or no, that'll be a three by four. Anyways, four by three is fine. And let's hit a render. What's the size here? Yeah, okay, 960, 720 is fine. Now I can hit a render and I can add some depth of field. Okay. So I can just take this and I can come into the camera and sampling and turn on the f-stop and then just press enter in the viewport, keep shift pressed and click wherever you want the focus to be. And there you go, you can add depth of field. Of course, it shouldn't be this shallow. This looks weird. So we'll just take it slightly higher. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Then you can just adjust the dome light a little bit if you want, you know. Let's get it to like 180. No, I think 150 was good. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. So this is how we can make an ice cream with sprinkles and a waffle. Okay, bye.